everyone this is Omer Usman the cognitive consultant I help people manage their weight reduce their anxiety and improve their performance and today I'm going to talk about worry anxiety and stress and I believe the less you worry when you're trying to achieve something the better it is now many of us get into this state of high anxiety high stress especially right before a performance or an event or a meeting and this very state of anxiety and stress becomes counterproductive. But why do we get anxious? Why do we become anxious and so stressed when we have to achieve, when we have to perform? Now, I believe there are basically two reasons. One is this belief we have that somehow the more we worry, the better we will do. The more we worry, the more we'll, uh, the more effort we'll put the less chances of mistake, the more meticulous we will be. So there's this belief that a lot of people have that the more they're worrying, the better or the, the better the performance is going to be. But this is counterproductive because we know the more stressful you are, the more anxious you are, the less focused you can be, the less in the moment you can be, the less you can focus on the task and uh, overall a higher chance of poor performance if you're very, very anxious. And you might even give up under pressure. You might even crack under pressure. Therefore, excitement is warranted. You can be excited about an upcoming meeting or an event. There should be some, some balance in your emotion, but very high state of anxiety is definitely counterproductive. You can't remain in the moment. You can't focus on the task. You focus on things that might not even really be that useful, and you end up making more mistakes. And as I said, even giving up. But there's a second belief. There's a high fear of failure. High fear of failure means fear of embarrassment in front of other people, the cost of failure, and so on. In fact, in this fear of failure can be so strong that I know people who sabotage their efforts just so that they can satisfy their ego and tell themselves that they didn't try hard enough so they didn't succeed. Because they're so afraid of failing, so afraid, afraid of realizing their own limitations. But our limitations are not that limited. And the higher the fear of failure, I have noticed the less chances of making good decisions, achieving good results, and even putting in full effort. And I would always say one should focus on being successful. Just focus on succeeding. And in fact, what is, the, what is even better is to just focus on the process and not on the end result. You can, if you remain detached, from the outcome, it is even better. And you can undertake big, big efforts without really worrying how they will turn out. So focus on the task, focus on your dream, the end result, stay in the moment, forget the outcome, stay detached from the outcome. This will help you achieve more, it will help you remain in the moment, and it will even help you remain resilient. So if failure does come, you can always bounce back because it's not something you've taken personally. It doesn't hit your ego. You can bounce back. Focus on the task. Enjoy the process. Stay in the moment and just do what you have to. The less you worry, the better it becomes. The less you worry, the easier it becomes, the more you achieve. I hope we all learned here something today. All right. So this was Amir Usman, the Cognitive Consultant, and I will see you next time.